to my channel. This is Swift Wellness. I'm Ashley and today we have an incredible 30 minute lower body workout that requires no equipment. Of course, if you like the added challenge, of course, grab a set of dumbbells. We'll be showing you modifications and challenges to increase the difficulty of the workout. However, we're getting rid of your traditional squats and lunges and instead focusing on tiny micro movements that will help to shape that booty, tone those thighs, and give you a killer lower body workout. Of course, if you prefer shorter workouts, make sure to check out the channel. We have 15 minute workouts for those of you who are short on time or want something into your weekly workout. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a single video we upload each week. Let's go ahead and get started. start here. So I want you to start off in a wide squat. So knees over your ankles. We're just going to start by like shifting from the left and then to the right. So imagine that you're just sliding across the plate. You're just going back and then forward. Good. So we're just warming up all the way through the chest, through the legs, through the inner thighs. So think about pulling your chest back. Don't let yourself round. You want to sit up tall and you're just pushing from side to side. Good, we're gonna go two more and then we're gonna add in a twist. So we're gonna reach down to our feet. So stay low, go one, two. Now we're just adding in that twist. So reaching back, staying low again, opening and twisting. Good. We've got three and then two. Good, and one, you're gonna step it in, and then we're gonna add in a little bit of a side step. So you're just going two steps to the right, staying low on your mat, it's two steps to the left. Begin just warming up, holding your chest nice and tall. Doesn't have to be a very large step, just stay low, stay small. Good, your tap, right, right, good. It's left and left, good. Stay nice and low, good. Got one more. Good, and then we're gonna step to the center of your mat. We're gonna take one big step with your right foot. You're gonna stay low, sink down into a lunge position. Pop that back heel up, and then we're gonna twist. So I'm gonna turn to the center, twist to the left. Center, left. Does that make sense to everybody? So you're just staying nice and low, warming up through those thighs, keeping that knee stacked over that ankle, so it's a pulse in the center, lunge to the right, pulse, set, good. You've got it. So twist to the right, pulse, twist to the left. Good, so you're just pivoting off that back foot. Good, staying low that whole time, feeling those thighs warm up. You've got two more, we're gonna drop it down to the mat. Good, to the center, to the back. One last time to the center. You're gonna come down, drop it off. We're gonna walk out into a high plank. Hold your core in nice and tight. We're gonna alternate in those mountain climbers. Just bring it into the center, keeping that shoulder stack directly over the hand. You're just alternating, finding the music, finding your rhythm. Just warming up through the core, shoulders, arms. Good. You're just finishing out this warm up with some mountain climbers. We're gonna add in a twist. Good, bring your opposite knee to your opposite elbow. Good, you're twisting. Good, you got three more, we're gonna sink back into child's pose. And then we're gonna finish out this warm up. Good, you got it, two. Good, one, we're gonna sink back into child's pose and finish this warm up. Good, sink back into. So we're gonna start off with a sumo calf raise today. So we're gonna walk back into that position that we started off in. So sinking down low, stacking those knees directly over your ankles, sitting up nice and tall. We're just gonna start with a little tiny pulse. Again, pulling that chest up nice and tall. So if you saw me from the side, I'm in one line. You're just pulsing. Good, you're just staying nice and tall through the chest. We're gonna alternate with our calf. We're gonna raise that heel as we pulse in three, two, one. This right heel, pick it up. Left heel, pick it up. Again, just alternating, going back and forth. Again, it's a little pulse in the center, 
Pulse with the right heel lifted. Pulse, left heel lifted. Pulse, good. Again, staying low. You wanna think about being as low as possible. You're parallel with the ground here. So your legs are in one long line. You've got right, left. You've got five seconds. Good. It's three, two, one. And you're just gonna hold that right heel up and you're just gonna pulse. Little tiny pulses. You've got 10 seconds. Pull those shoulders back. Five, four, three, two, and switch. Left heel goes up. Again, stay nice and tall. You've got 10 seconds. And we're gonna drop out of this and into some lunges. You've got three, two, one, and good. Go ahead, stop down, twist over to that right side. So you're letting your left heel and your left knee come behind you. You're gonna pop up, raise that back knee, just like we did in the warm up. You're gonna pick it up off the ground. And then that back foot is gonna curtsy. So we're gonna step to the right side of the mat and then to the left side. So it's left and right. So staying nice and tall, staying low through that front leg, pop it from side to side. So if you saw me from the front, you're just watching that leg switch to the side. So it's to the right and then to the left. So Staying nice and low in that lunge, and of course you can always drop that back knee if you need to, and then switch from side to side. So from here you've got 10 seconds, and then we're gonna switch to the other leg. So that left leg is still behind for five. Good. Three, two, and one. Go ahead, switch to that, whoop, switch to that right side. Same thing, pull that knee up. You're gonna reach to the left, and to the right. You're only here for 30 seconds. So you just want to keep and make sure that that weight is stacked directly over that ankle. Knee over ankle. Stay nice and tall. We've got 15 seconds as you switch from the left to the right. Good. Find your balance. You've got 10 seconds. Good. It's five, four, three. Good. Two. And down. Good. Go ahead. Stack your shoulders directly over your hips, over your knees. We're gonna go into a surrender squat. So if you do have weights, this is a place where you can use them. Of course, if you don't, that's okay. So from the side, my hips, everything is in one line. I'm not hinged over. So I'm gonna step up into a squat, down into that surrender. So it's up, up, down, down. So left leg leads for this. And then we'll switch. So I'll tell you when to switch. So let that left leg lead. Good. Here. And down. So looking at me from the straight on position. Again, you're rolling that shoulder back, holding that core nice and tall so that you don't round as you pick back up. So it's squat, squat, down, down. We're going to start with that right leg now. So it's up, up, down, down. You've got it. Good. Again, staying nice and tall, making sure when you come down that you're not letting yourself round. Press through that shoulder, hold that core tight. Up, up, down, down. Good. We're gonna switch off of all these squats and lunges in 10 seconds. You're on your mat after this. In three, two, and one. Good. Come down. We're gonna start with donkey kicks. These next three exercises are all on the same leg, and then we'll switch. If you have a weight, that weight's gonna come behind that knee for your donkey kicks. If you don't, that's okay. You're gonna take your hands, stack them underneath your shoulders, flex that right foot, we'll start on the right side, comes up to 90 degrees, and back down. Just up and down. Again, you're holding your core tight here, not letting your back arch as you press up. Think about really engaging that core. Press up and down. It's up and down, good. If you want an additional balance challenge, you can take that opposite hand. So in this case, my right leg is moving, my left leg, or my left arm extends, and then I come back in. Good, you've got it. If I've got the weight behind my knee, I'm squeezing it extra hard using that hamstring, engaging it, warming up, really getting 
those glutes activated today. Got it. In three, we're gonna hold it up, and you're just gonna pulse. In two, good. Last one, hold it up, just pulse it to the sky. So that quad it should be parallel with the ground. You're not letting it drop. If you haven't picked that arm up, this is a good time to challenge your balance right now as you hold it and pulse it for the next 15 seconds. Hold it here. You can also take that hand to your opposite shoulder. You've got 10 seconds. You're just pulsing all the way. Good, you've got three, two, and one. Good, drop it. If you've got the weight, take it off. That right leg extends longer and go right into some leg lifts. So holding from the core again, squeeze, just your glute, lifts that leg, point that toe, keep it long. So your whole leg moves at one point. You don't want any bend in that knee. Good. Press and press. Good, you've got it. Longest leg possible, of course. If you want to take that opposite hand for that balance challenge, you can. If you have a weight, you can take it in that hand, hold it out as a little bit of an added challenge. Good, you've got it. Squeeze as you're lifting. We're gonna hold it again for the next 10 seconds for a little bit of a finisher towards the end. Good, in three, two, good, one. Hold it up, just little pulses. Just little baby pulses to the end. Good, you've got it. We've got five seconds, we're gonna go into a rainbow and I'll show you what that looks like in three, two, one. Taking that left toe, big toe to the outside of your mat, you're gonna make a big arching rainbow to the opposite mat. So it's up and over to the right, over to the left. So again, you're imagining you're making a big rainbow with your foot, touching that big toe, big toe. So each time you touch down, it's big toe, and big toe. Again, try to keep that leg as long as possible, like someone's pulling it to the back of the room. Good, touch, touch. You've got 15 seconds, and then we're gonna sink back into child's pose, switch legs, and continue on with this workout. You've got it, 10 seconds. Holding nice and tall, feeling that glute. We're switching to the other side in three, in two, good, one, and stop, bring it in. Sink down. So let's go ahead and switch around to that other side. This time that left leg is working, holding that core in. We're gonna start off with donkey kicks. So that shoulder stacks directly over the hand. Flex that foot, we're gonna go right into it, pressing into that donkey kick, all the way straight up to the ceiling, bringing it back in line with the other knee. So bringing it down and up. Good, think about holding in your core the opposite to always add in that balance challenge. So you're extending that right hand long as you press that left foot to the sky, holding in. Of course, you can always tap that other shoulder, holding it straight down, you've got it. You're gonna hold it up in three, in two, and one. Again, if you didn't take that balance challenge already, you want to hold it up right now with little baby pulses to the sky for the last 15 seconds. Good, you're just pressing it, extending that right arm long. You've got it, five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Go ahead, bring it down. Left leg extends long right into that leg raise. You're just lifting it from the ground, pulling from the core, pulling from the glute, not letting that knee bend, keeping that leg long and extended. You're here for a minute, so you're just squeezing through the core, squeezing through the glutes. Again, your choice if you want to pull that long arm for that additional balance challenge. You've got it. We've got 10 seconds and we're going to hold it up and pulse it to the end. Good. It's five, four, three, two, and hold it up. Little baby pulses. Good. You've only got 10 seconds and then we're going into those rainbows. Good. You've got it. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Going right into those rainbows, tapping that big toe and big toe. It's left, good. Just switching across the body, making that big rainbow all the way up and down. It's up and down. You're only here for 30 seconds, feeling that left glute work. It's 
up. Good, you've got it. 20 seconds, hold that core nice and tight. Good, 15. Good, deep breath. Feeling that glute work. We've got 10 seconds, and then we're gonna drop down to our side. Add in a little glute med work today in three, two, and one. Good, go ahead, sink back in to child's pose. We're gonna drop on to that left forearm. We're gonna go into a few lifted clams. So make a fist with your left hand. We're gonna stack those knees and those ankles directly in line. Pull that chest up off the ground. You're gonna lift those hips, and then you're gonna open through that side seat and close. Open and close. Make sure you're keeping that big, deep breath, big inhale and big exhale. Inhale and exhale. Of course, your modification is always to drop that hip to the ground, but keep that chest lifted. Good. Just pressing all the way back, keeping those heels, keeping those feet together. Good. You've got 10 seconds and then we're gonna hold it up and then press it back. Good. It's three, two, and one, just pressing that top knee back, holding nice and tall, good. You've got it, press into the mat, keep your chest lifted. You've got five seconds, good. Then we're gonna go to an inner thigh lift in three, two, and one, good. Go ahead and then take that left leg, that bottom leg and make it long. You're taking that top foot and placing those toes facing away from you. Keep the leg long, toe point. Little baby lifts on the bottom leg as you press your chest up off the ground. Good, you're working on that inner thigh. So it should be little tiny baby micro movements as you're pressing up and down, up and down. You've got it, good. You've got 10 seconds here, good. You're just holding big deep breaths as you're working on that inner leg, keeping those movements micro bends, tiny, tiny, tiny little lifts. Good, you've got five seconds and we're gonna hold it up. Good, it's three, two, one. Good, hold it up. I don't want you to drop this lower leg for the next 20 seconds. Little baby pulses, pressing it up as high as you can, lifting it from the ground. You've got 10 seconds. Big deep breath, don't let it drop. Just little baby pulses to the end. You've got it, you've got three, two, and one, good. Go ahead, stack those legs long. We're gonna go into a side rainbow, just like we did with the glutes. Taking that big toe, you're reaching forward, bringing that toe just in front of the mat. Big toe touches, big toe taps in the back. So again, I'm pulling my chest up off the ground. It's a big tap, and tap. Good, you've got it. You're making, again, a big, rainbow from one side of your mat to the other. You can keep it really small, or you can extend the rainbow, whatever you can control. You're working on your own glute med from the right side to the left side of your mat. Using that side leg, it should be getting very fatigued. Good, you've got it. Tap and tap. Good, of course you can always drop down if you prefer put the hand behind the head and it gives you a little extra balance. That's your modification. You're just tapping that big toe front and back. We're gonna add in a double tap in three. You're gonna tap to the front twice and to the back twice. This is your last one and back. So it's tap, 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 tap. Good, two in the front and two in the back. Again, this whole time I'm making sure my hip is stacked, my shoulders are stacked, everything is in line, that I'm not rocking through my core. I'm just using that side seat, just using that glute med. Two taps and back. Good, you've got one more. Good, and then we're gonna sink it back. And we're gonna switch over to the other side. This is your chance to use that right leg. So spin it around. Again, taking that fist, putting that forearm into the ground, bring those knees forward, hips pop up, you're opening that side seat and closing. Just again, that clamshell, opening through the knees and closing. Good, 
If you have a weight, this is your option to add in a challenge. You can always take the weight to the side of your thigh. Gives a little bit of resistance as you bring it up and down. Good. You're just right here for another 20 seconds and then we're gonna hold it up and press it back. So of course, again, your modification to bring the hip down, but you're not letting that side of your body drop. You've got three, two, and one. Hold it and you're just pulsing it back. Good, keeping those heels together, keeping those feet. Good, you're only here for 10 seconds and we're gonna go into that inner thigh lift. Good, it's three, two, and one. Good, go ahead, stand that bottom leg. That front foot comes forward. We're going into that thigh lift. So point that bottom toe, pull that chest up off the ground and just baby lifts. Good, you've got it. Little tiny lifts. Keeping that leg nice and long. Point the toe. The whole movement comes from that hip flexor, comes from that inner thigh. Nothing else moves, you're stacked over that hip. You're stacked in that shoulder. Big deep breath, again, as you're lifting and lowering. Good, you've got it. You've got 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna hold it up. Three, two, and one. Good, just hold it up. You're here for 10 seconds, little tiny pulses all the way to the end. Good, you've got it. Try to get every little tiny centimeter of height through this last little bit. You've got it. It's three, two, one. Good. Go ahead, drop it down. Again, coming down if you want that hand behind the head, stacking those hips, those knees, those ankles. We're going into that leg rainbow, taking that left foot, tapping in front, and tapping in back. So it's up and down. Good. Again, staying nice and stacked through the shoulder, using that other hand for support. The movement comes from the glute med. Good. Don't let your back arch. And again, control that movement in that arch. If it's large or if it's small, whatever you can control. Good. You're here for another 20 seconds. We're gonna add in that tap in three, in two. Good, two taps in the front and two taps in the back. This is your last exercise on this side. We've got one move left. That's your finisher workout today. And then you are free of this workout. So it's two taps, two taps. Good. You've got three. Good. Two more. This is your last one. Then we'll roll over onto our back and finish out with our glute bridges today. So rolling over onto your back. You're picking those hips up, taking those palms into the ground. You're here for two minutes. That's your finish of the day today. So again, popping up onto your toes, keeping those legs locked together, your knees together, hips. You're gonna bring those hips to touch the ground and then push all the way up, squeezing the glutes at the top and then back down. It's up and down. Again, trying to keep those heels lifted. Of course, if that's too difficult, you can always put those heels on the ground, but you have one leg squeezing and lowering. Up and down, you've got it. You've got 10 seconds, and then we're gonna lift that left leg. You've got it. You've got three, two, and one. Go ahead, set those hips on the ground. The left leg raises up. You're gonna press those hips up and then you're gonna take that left leg, you're gonna thread it underneath your right leg and then extend it long. So that whole time my hips don't drop, I take my time, I work through on that thread the needle of my glute, extending that leg long, really trying to get every inch, thread it through and extend. Good, you've got 20 seconds, you're right here, you're almost to the end. We're gonna switch to the right leg and then you are out of here in 10 seconds. Keep those hips lifted. Good, you've got it. Five, four, good, three, two, and drop that right leg, or that left leg, right leg extends, press those hips up again, that right leg threads through and extends. So again, it goes underneath 
and up. You're only here for 30 seconds and then you are done. Really try to get that leg as far underneath your hips as possible without letting them drop. Good, work at your own pace. Use your hands to support you. You're almost to the end. Good, extend and press. Good, you've got it 10 seconds and then you're at the end. Good, five, four, three, two, and come all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest. You are done. You can go ahead and finish out your cool down today, guys. Take that left foot, press it into the inside of the right leg. Take that right hand, extend it long and pull on that side body. Feeling a big stretch through that left side. Big deep breaths, big inhales. You just sink down, pull a little bit tighter at each pull. One last deep breath and we'll switch legs. So taking that left leg long, left fingertips reach for left toes as you pull yourself down. Taking that right foot, pressing it into that left thigh. Then go ahead, take the soles of your feet, bring them together into a butterfly sit. Take the hands, wrap around the toes, press those knees into the ground, opening up for three deep breaths. You can take your toes and pull on them, bring them closer to the center of your body. Big inhale and then big exhale. And one last big deep breath today to end class. It's a big inhale. And then a big exhale. Great work today, guys. I love that lower body workout. It's such an easy way to add in an additional challenge to your workouts each week. Of course, this was a no equipment needed workout, but now you know how to add a set of dumbbells in for the next round to add in resistance and add in challenge. Of course, I wanna know how the workout went for you. Tell me in the comments below. Did you take the added challenges? Did you need the modifications? Let me know so I can make the best workout for you. And of course, make sure to share our channel with your friends and like and subscribe so you don't miss a single video we upload each week. Have a great day.